from my government by participating in Occupy San Diego, where we have been peacefully assembling in the Civic Center Plaza to educate each other on these grievances. Last week, our peaceful assembly was raided by the San Diego Police Department and the San Diego County Sheriff. I was arrested along with 50 other protesters that night. My charges are no excessive noise and unlawful assembly. I was shackled and put in a small van with 13 other girls who were also shackled. We sat in that van for three hours while many of us continuously asked for a bathroom and water. We were told there was no bathroom facilities for us to use and we were not going to be given water and we were told if we had to go to the bathroom, we could go ahead and go in the van, which three girls did do and I was forced to sit in that van for three hours smelling their feces and urine. When arriving to Las Colinas Jail, we were treated like criminals. An officer who was frustrated with me questioning what property they had of mine resorted to putting his hands around my neck while yelling to shut my hole. Then we were all placed in a 10 by 10 room slash cell, all 14 of us. At many points, there was more than 20 of us in this room with only two small benches to sit on. So many of us had to sit on the floor, which was covered in urine and other dirt. I was booked at 5.30 a.m. and released at 6 p.m. For 12 hours, I was locked in this room, denied very basic, such as cups for water and toilet paper and clean air. The only way to get water in these holding rooms is by the sink attached to the toilet. So without a cup, you have to lean over and put your mouth really close to where people go to the bathroom. When I entered the room, there were no cups. For five hours, I asked for a cup. Finally, around 10 in the morning, a guard leaned over and gave us cups from a cupboard that was right next to our holding cell the entire time. Similar situations carried on throughout the day for things like toilet paper or hand soap. Occupy San Diego has been accused of being unsanitary and creating fire hazards many times. Having 20 girls locked in a 10 by 10 room for 12 plus hours seemed like a fire hazard to me. The unsanitary and disgusting conditions of that room are some of the worst I have ever experienced in my life, and they were, that was not being experienced to Occupy San Diego. In our court of law, we are supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. Last week, I was treated like a criminal for being detained while peacefully assembling to address grievances with my government. Forget the fact that what I was doing was not even a crime, but at the very least, I have not even had my day in court yet and have already been treated as though I am guilty. The guards and officers participating in enforcing our laws and running our prisons need to be investigated and a system or process put in place to make sure their positions of power are not being used corruptly. What happened to innocent until proven guilty? The treatment of detainees and the disgusting and sanitary conditions in our jails needs to be addressed by this city council so citizens of your city who have not yet had their day in court are not subject to being treated as criminals before being proven that they are so. Thank you. Thank you.